Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. You know, I get a lot of email from people asking me about what kind of a camera setup that I use on my helmet and how do I keep it powered because I know there's other people who have tried the same thing where you have the GoPro on your helmet but the batteries on the GoPros die really fast. So at one point I tried buying extra batteries but still I found that I didn't like that option. Uh, so it always seemed to me that the batteries would die at the worst time. So I bought a waterproof housing and this housing I found on Amazon. It has a special little section on the side there where you can plug a cable into it that has a really tight rubber seal that keeps out all water and dust. And then what I do is I just attach uh, an outside or external battery pack and this particular one is 20,000 milliamp hours and to put that in perspective the GoPro batteries are only about 11 to 1200 milliamp hours uh, so this charger could last me for several days and then I just use a little piece of um, electrical tape to hold the USB plug into the, uh, the external battery because if you don't sometimes when you're bouncing around on the ATV it might come loose I keep that battery pack in my pocket so I use some electrical tape to keep it nice and snug and I also cover the other port on the uh, on the charger to make sure that it keeps out any kind of dust and then there's camera placement I currently have mine kind of mounted on the chin of my helmet I have it there because I get a modular helmet and it flips up and down and uh, pretty much the only place that I can have it there uh, is right on the front now I have mine mounted up quite high and believe it or not it doesn't really bother my line of sight I can tell if the camera happened to get knocked, if it's moving, uh, moved forward or backwards, or if it doesn't look like it's quite level. And also I can always see the red light flashing on the back of the GoPro. So that way I always know if it's recording because if it, when I used to have it lower, uh, sometimes if the cable came loose and then the GoPro lost power, then um, I would assume it was recording and sometimes it wasn't. So I don't have that problem anymore. Also with this setup, it's nice that I have the battery pack on me in my coat pocket so I can get out and walk around and still be recording. So, in a nutshell, that's how I have my GoPro camera set up with a battery pack. I'd love to see your comments. Please make some down below. And also, if you have any tips on how you record your voice over while you're recording your video at the same time, I'd like to see how you're doing it because I've seen some cases where guys have audio packs on the back but they're not waterproof or if they are, they don't allow for uh, the battery cable to be hooked into the side at the same time so I can drive all day and keep my battery going like, like I'm doing now. 